Hey everyone, how you doing? Okay, so to start out this video, I want to ask you a question. What is, in your opinion, the plant with the most lost potential at their base level when PBZ2's campaign? This could be any plant that comes from the main adventure, and I can understand a lot of the answers that you guys might have. For some people, it's Spring Bean, which is really only useful in one world, and even in that one world, it's simply not that good. For others, it might be something a little less obvious, like Gold Leaf. This one I get too, as Gold Leaf is unfortunately just a worse tile turnip that doesn't even have the chance of replacing a sun producer in your loadout. But as for me, well, I think this title goes to Pepper Pult. Yeah, let's talk about it. Well, okay, let's not do that. We're gonna actually first go over what makes a good plant in PvZ2 to begin with. When it comes to being good, a few things must be true for the given plant. First of all, the cost must be reasonable, so a plant like Repeater is pretty balanced in that sense. On top of this, the damage or utility has to be quite useful as well. For the sun cost, plants like Red Stinger are very fair, and almost even a bit of a steal. And as for utility plants, stuff like Primal Nut and Iceberg Lettuce are also very useful in different situations. But above all else in my eyes is the cooldown. This is what matters to somebody like me who can utilize some producers pretty effectively. No matter how strong the plant is, if their cooldown sucks, then you're immediately going to find them harder to use. But if it's a good cooldown, then the plant is considerably easier to use. So if all of the stars align and all of that criteria is checked off, then the given plant is good, at least to me. So with this mindset and criteria in mind, now we'll take a look at Pepper Pult. And immediately, this plant seemingly isn't all that bad. 200 sun is a pretty fair cost for a plant that can hit 50 damage, and the utility here is also pretty good too. Being a pulp plant that costs more than kernel but less than melon is actually quite an interesting middle ground, and for power's sake, it's pretty good for dealing against zombies in the early game that are pretty strong. Oh, and this plant also thaws out nearby chilled plants whenever it can. That's also a pretty good perk to have, though it's fairly limited. But overall, so far this seems fine. Some would even say that Pepper Pult is actually pretty good. Until you look at the cooldown. This is unfortunately where things really fall apart for Pepper Pult. It really struggles here, as this plant is one that has a brutal cooldown. Now, how long are we talking here? Well, it's not 5 seconds, not 10 seconds, and no, not even 15 seconds. It's 20. 20 seconds! To give you an idea on how extreme this actually is, let's do some comparisons. Repeater, a plant that is just a little weaker than Pepper Pult, refreshes in 5 seconds. Shadow Shroom, a plant that can basically one-shot a lot of the early wave zombies, refreshes in 10 seconds. And as for a lot of the long cooldown plants that have immense utility, like Iceberg Lettuce and Potato Mine, 20 seconds. Yes, on par with Pepper Bolt. That is insane, to put it very lightly. And if that somehow hasn't processed for you, let's look at things another way here. It would take you almost two minutes to make one row of Pepper Pults. To say that this is overkill is a massive understatement. Now, I will give PopCap credit here where credit is due, because this does make some sense. See, Pepper Pult is actually a really useful plant in specifically its homeworld, Frostbite Caves. And seeing as how it's more powerful than plants like Repeater, makes it a plant that needs to be in check in order for it to be balanced. Now, that's a fine enough reason, but 20 seconds is really, really brutal for a plant of this type. There's no getting around it. So while everything else is good, or at least decent, for Pepper Pult, the cooldown is unfortunately the thing that kind of kills most of this plant's potential. It's simply too harsh for a plant that honestly isn't even all that capable in their own world. Like yeah, it does heat up other plants, but so can Snapdragon. And Hot Potato. And if you actually spend your gems, even Fire Pea. Which, by the way, has a much more reasonable cooldown. It just stinks to me that the one thing that holds back Pepper Pult from being a legitimately viable plant is the thing that PopCap put on it because they felt like the plant was going to be too good. And yet, stuff like Magnifying Grass exists. Yeah, okay PopCap. I don't expect a whole lot of you to agree with me here about this being the plant with the most lost potential, but I hope a lot of you at least understand why I feel this way now. This is something that's bothered me for years, and clearly I am not the only person who has felt this way. Some PBZ2 mods like Reflourished actually make the Pepper Pulse a decent pick. All they did was reduce the cooldown, and suddenly, whoa, this plant is actually good. That's crazy. 
but jokes aside, this is all just my opinion. My experiences with this game are different than yours, so I'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments down below. Also, I would like to apologize to everyone expecting another decently sized video before the PVZ2 review, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get the planned video out this month, so you're gonna end up seeing another PVZ2 video in August. Also, if you guys are new around here and you like what you see, then maybe consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. Now, as for me, I'm gonna go ahead and level up Pepper Pulse so that I can actually justify using this thing. So, I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.